Tyrion Lannister is one of the main characters in Game of Thrones, and because of this, many theories are associated with his character. One of the biggest recurring details in both the books and the show is the fact that Tyrion isn't accepted by his family. Now, this could be chalked up to the idea that since Tyrion is a dwarf, he never lived up to his father's expectations. But there is a world famous theory claiming otherwise. A theory that states Tyrion is not the Lannister son we first thought he was, but instead a bastard of the Mad King Aerys Targaryen. You're probably thinking, not everyone has to be a secret Targaryen. And you would be right, not everyone is. We know Jon Snow is the true son of Prince Rhaegar and Lyanna Stark, but could Tyrion also stem from the same family tree? With Season 7 quickly approaching, now is the time for our favorite characters to reach their true potential. And if Tyrion turns out to be the son of a Targaryen, then his overall purpose may be vastly different than what we originally thought. Let me explain. Tyrion Lannister was born in 273 AC at Casterly Rock. His mother, Joanna Lannister, died during childbirth. Tywin and Cersei have always held Tyrion responsible for this. One thing to note, Tyrion is not the only main character who killed their mother in childbirth. Jon and Daenerys did too. Remember that because it will be important later. Growing up, Tyrion wished for a dragon of his own. He was mesmerized by the stories he read, and even had strange dreams about dragons. One thing we know from the books is Targaryens had dragon dreams. These often occur with people who have the blood of a dragon. Daenerys also had dragon dreams, and Jon Snow has had his fair share of prophetic dreams as well. In a conversation between Jon and Tyrion about wanting a dragon, Tyrion says this, When I was your age, I used to dream of having a dragon of my own. You did? Oh yes. Even a stunted, twisted, ugly little boy can look down over the world when he's seated on a dragon's back. I used to start fires in the bowels of Casterly Rock and stare at the flames for hours, pretending they were dragon fire. Sometimes I'd imagine my father burning, at other times my sister. Don't look at me that way, bastard. I know your secret. You've dreamt the same kind of dreams. Okay, so Tyrion may have dreamt about dragons, but it doesn't mean he is positively a secret Targaryen. The main evidence for this comes from the relationship between the Mad King and Joanna Lannister. During the Mad King's reign, the title, Hand of the King, changed a few times, but for the majority of Aerys rule, Tywin Lannister served as his number two. Tywin married his love, Joanna, a woman that the Mad King obsessed over. On their wedding night, Aerys Targaryen wanted to share his bed with a new bride before Tywin could. Barristan Selmy advised against this, but the knight confessed that Aerys did get away with some of his wishes. This proves there was some form of contact between Aerys and Joanna. Now, this was before Tyrion's birth, of course, but remember, if Aerys could get away with whatever he did on Tywin's wedding night, who's to say he couldn't do the same a couple years down the road? Fast forward to Tyrion's adulthood, and we can tell by Tywin's words that he never truly accepted Tyrion as his own. You who killed your mother to come into the world, you are an ill-made, spiteful little creature, full of envy, lust, and low cunning. We know that there are some big differences from the books and the show. Tyrion's appearance is one of them. In the book series, Tyrion doesn't have the standard Lannister features. His eyes are mismatched green and black, and his hair is both black and pale blonde. Many people try not to look at him because he is considered disgusting. House Targaryen has a history of birth defects, with newborn babies sometimes having visible deformities like scales and lizard-like skin. So let's quickly summarize. Tyrion's mother died during childbirth. Both Daenerys and Jon, confirmed to have Targaryen blood, also killed their mothers in childbirth. Tyrion's family, mostly Tywin, constantly reminds him that he is not a true Lannister. Having a rough childhood, the dwarf found joy in dreaming about dragons, and even wishing for one of his own. When in the pyramids, Rhaegal and Viserion accept Tyrion and allow him to unlock their chains. Up until this point, Danny's dragons had not allowed anyone other than their mother to get close. Aside from his dwarfism, Tyrion doesn't have the typical features of a Lannister. And on top of all this, 
add the fact that the Mad King had a sexual relationship with Tywin's wife Joanna before Tyrion's birth. Now we are heading into the final two seasons of Game of Thrones. Daenerys has all three of her dragons, but she only rides Drogon. Rhaegal and Viserion could have a human counterpart out there. For example, Jon could be uniquely tied to Rhaegal, the green dragon that was named after his late father. And Viserion, the gold dragon, could be uniquely tied to Tyrion, making Jon, Danny, and Tyrion the three heads of the dragon, and all three related by blood. If this theory turns out to be true, then surely season 7 and season 8 will be even more shocking than fans expect. I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think Tyrion's real father is Aerys Targaryen? And if so, will the show adopt this narrative, or will we have to find out in the novels? Let me know your thoughts. This video is sponsored by Geek Fuel. Geek Fuel is a subscription box company that prides itself on sending only the best products each and every month. In every box, you get an exclusive t-shirt, video game downloads, rare collectibles, and tons of other gear. For new subscribers, you can receive a bonus Game of Thrones journal when you use our special link in the description. If you want to check them out, look down below for the link. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, have a great day, take care, and I will see you tomorrow.